I put on my New England sweatshirt. It's raining, so we got kind of a mixture of an outfit here, but hopefully we'll be fine. Let's go to a place that will be bursting with life. Be Hey everyone, welcome to the video. We're at our first stop, which is Hammond Castle. I've been here before, but it's been a really long time. First for Gentry. This was built by a man named John Hammond in the early 1900s. It's just like a, it's like a museum of all of his collections. He was obsessed with medieval times. <laughs> And so he built this to be a, a place to store all of his collections. And then once he died, he specifically asked for it to become a museum, which it has. Almost the entire building is open to the public. There are a few areas that are closed off, but it really is just like a hodgepodge, a mishmash of like all of these different things that he's collected. We're gonna go in, we're gonna tour it, we're gonna show you around, and we're really excited for it. stores which by the way this is an actual storefront from those days they would have little sculptures that described what each store sold or did can you guess what this store was based on these sculptures I couldn't this one is a farmer and he's holding a scythe <laughs> and this one is a merchant and he has a big money belt on together they mean bakery I would never have gotten that I guess it's something that like you learn when you live there but that this was a bakery. These are children playing, which means it was a family-owned business. These ones are a bit easier to decipher. The great finds equal one. And then we have little men hunting animals, which equals butcher. So this is the library, and he built it round so that he could hear people whispering from across the room because of the acoustics of the room. Supposedly, if it's real quiet, you can still hear whispers. Like ghost whispers? Like, or like, like ghost whispers, yeah. This place is supposed to be haunted, like, ooh. Okay, test it out. Here, I'll try it from here. Okay. Can you tell me? A little bit. But it was yeah. also like waiting for it. Yeah, I know. While in the Dominican Republic, he was arrested. He had taken his yacht and was like recreating Columbus's path. They thought he was like an American invasion force and that's why he got arrested. So as an apology, they let him pick something and he chose this. Told him this was the head of one of the men who served with Columbus and he thought that was the coolest thing. I think that is a weird thing. Now we are in the gothic bedroom. I believe this is a guest room. His and his wife's rooms are closed to the public as per his request. 
This is the early American bedroom, classic early American decor. I love this room. Beautiful floral wallpaper, beautiful quilts. This feels very colonial. A little, a little bit more cozy than a gothic room. Room that overlooks the Great Hall. I don't know why. So last time I was here, we heard the bang, and I was like, oh, that's weird. And I came back down, and this door had slammed shut. I don't know if it was just like a breeze or something. I'm not saying it was a ghost, but I'm not not saying that. <laughs> you believe in ghosts? Comment below. Just came down three flights of stairs via spiral staircase. Note to self, no spiral staircases in right. our home. Because <laughs> you step, you're like, okay, I'm done. And then you're like, whoa. <laughs> we recently just found these Fortuny gowns somewhere here in the castle. They don't know who they belong to. They assume Mrs. Hammond. They found this one and this one. Fortuny was a very famous dress designer from Spain in the 18 and 1900s, so these dresses are worth quite a bit. And now we're in Salem. I had to do a little outfit change because I was too hot. Hopefully this outfit will work. <laughs> we are at Town Hall. If you've ever seen Hocus Pocus, this is where the adults have their dance party and the kids go get chased by the zombies and the witches sing their song. Old Town Hall, it's not the new current Town Hall that they use, but. Last time we were here, it was like literally right before Halloween, and this place was a zoo. And now it's like way less busy. I love that in the middle of a city about witches, they created an alien restaurant. I never realized that. I just thought it was like a pop culture. No. <laughs> Our pizza had to mop up some grease. It is so good. Yeah. Yeah. where witches lived though. Photos allowed inside, so sorry. We'll see you when we come out. We just finished our self-guided tour at the witch house. It is the house of the judge during the Salem witch trials. It's really just his family home and they have like one main room that was like kitchen, dining, living room. Everyone hung out in that room. That's just where they congregated and then they had their bedrooms upstairs and a parlor. They had a lot of displays talking about remedies where they would use human remains. <laughs> they believe that that would like physically heal you. Yeah. Which is so interesting and then like all of their superstitions and the things they would do to keep away witches or evil spirits. It's just like so in, interesting. Like if you if your butter wouldn't churn clearly to been bewitched. Yeah, it was a witch. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're just heading over to the House of Seven Gables and hopefully we can take pictures inside that one. We entered the first room and since we were the last ones there we were by the door and while the tour guide was talking there was a very soft subtle knock on the door. Both Steve and I turned 
to see if someone was going to open the door. And when no one did, we looked at each other. No one else had noticed the knock. It was very, very, very soft. Our eyes got wide and we knew that we had both thought we heard a ghost because no one was there. It wasn't the other tour that was upstairs. It was literally right by my ear as I stood next to the door. So we're saying it's a ghost. Comment below what you think. Did we hear a ghost or no? That tour ended up being a lot longer than we were expecting. Way longer. Yeah, and way more in depth than we were expecting as well. So that's good at least. We're coming up on the end of our time here. And so we still have a few things we want to do. And so we're going to kind of rush and try to get everything done before heading out for the evening. Now we are at the Salem Witch Trials Memorial. Here is where they have memorials for those who were victims of the Salem Witch Trials. Each one has their name and how they were killed. Salem Witch Trials lasted for about a year from February 1692 to May 1693. And here we have Giles Corey. He was pressed to death. He had a good piece of property, I guess. So they accused him of like witchcraft. And so they basically put a board on top of him and then kept putting rocks on top of it and said, as soon as you confess to being a witch, we'll stop this. All he would say is more weight. And they kept putting weight on and kept putting weight on and kept putting weight on. They put more weight on and then he died. And it was like, no, this is my land. land. You're not getting my land. <laughs> I'm not so a witch. Sad. All of these people. It's really sad. No, you can't find the answers. Try to chase down the light. While visiting Salem, if you want a really good tour that just teaches you all about the history, those who were convicted of witchcraft. We came to this building and they have a bunch of wax figures and the room is kind of circular so you kind of turn as the tour goes on and then they take you through and talk to you about the history of witchcraft. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we did not do it this trip but we did it last trip. And here we have the Ropes Mansion. This is Allison's house in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Blinked there for a second. Right here is where you see Danny throw herself onto the hay bales crying. Very and Max dramatically. consoles her and then they look up and they're like, whoa. What's one of your favorite lines from the movie? It's not my favorite line. It's just a line that he remembers. <laughs> Except I can never wear anything like that because I don't have any, what do you call them, Max? Yavos? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> right by the water, we've got the Hocus Pocus house came once in the afternoon and they actually had props used in the movie, at least that's what it said. And you could take a picture in front of the house with like the vacuum cleaner. It was really fun. And that concludes our trip to Salem, Massachusetts. We both love this town. It is such a fun place to visit, especially this time of year. So much history, not just history about the Salem Witch Trials, but American history and so many fun shops and places to visit that it is definitely worth a trip. So if you can make time to visit, we highly recommend it. Down. River gonna run, river gonna run